So hello fellow Earthlings, this is Earthlings 64554637728 and I had the opportunity to listen to a, I guess a very short clip of Brian Austin Green, Megan Fox's husband, um, basically saying that they had split up, they'd separ been separated for a couple of months. And the way that he recounted it was that she had gone to shoot a movie and when she, I guess while she was there, maybe she was on the phone and she was saying that since she had the opportunity to be by herself for that period of time, um, what she came to realize was that she liked that version of herself being alone and she wanted to try it and see how, I guess, how it worked out. And the way that he said that he reacted to it was that he was upset, but at the same time he wasn't upset with her because, as he was saying, she didn't ask to feel like that. That was just how she felt. That, I guess, in my words, she felt like she was better off being alone, that she felt better. And I, I guess that, I guess she probably felt in some ways maybe, I'm putting words in her mouth, smothered maybe by the whole relationship. I think um, as one of the actors who used to be the youngest actor on Beverly Hills 90210. He still was a lot older than Megan Fox when they got together and as far as I know they have two kids and he's substantially older than her. Maybe I have to look that up, maybe 10 years or so. And I think that it's, to me it's, it's funny, if it was a woman who was the elder older person and a man was the younger one as what happened with as with Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore it seems like that might be more likely to happen because you know as a woman get, gets older um, the stereotype is that her beauty might fade and a guy might have a wandering eye and you know eventually they might split up whereas you know I've heard some women apparently say that, you know, my men get better with age, like like George Clooney for some reason. People seem to think that he gets better with age. Um, of course, that said, I don't think what they had in mind was, was the experience that that girl who played uh, Mystique on X-Men, I can't remember her name, but she was also in in that dystopian movie. Anyway, she was talking about uh, a movie where she was going to be acting with uh, a guy who played Batman and she was saying she was so excited about being in the movie and then unfortunately the guy had to gain a whole bunch of weight for the movie so she didn't really get to meet him at his best. But that's not the case with Brian Austin Green, you know. Uh, he still looks pretty good. He's, he certainly doesn't have what looks to be, uh, you know, a gut or anything like that. Maybe he's hiding it in clothes, I don't know. But he's, based on his face, he still looks like he's pretty lean. So it, it wasn't anything like that. But I have to, honestly, I have to respect the way that he seems to be handling it you know in the pictures that they had and the video clips that they had I could feel that perhaps she might feel that her sexuality is wasted in you know the monogamous relationship maybe because everybody knows and thinks of Megan Fox in the same way as they might have thought of Elizabeth Taylor you know, and, and she was married however many times. I, I'm sure she never lost that feeling, 
you know, that falling in love feeling. Or it could be that she just feels that maybe part of her youth was gone because she got, you know, in a relationship with an older guy from such a young age and he already had a way that he felt things should be and she just went along with it. Kind of like, you know, Tom Cruise and his young wife and eventually they split up. But uh, one of the things that I've heard and uh, I guess it didn't really work for Sidney Poitier was that the closer you are in age to the person that you marry the more likely that your marriage will last so if you're you know the exact same age you seem to have a higher probability of staying married than not than other people whether the man or the woman is older but um he certainly doesn't seem like he's some kind of control freak. The way that he expressed the situation, um, he didn't seem like he was okay with it. You know, he was saying that for now our paths have diverged and maybe they might come together or they might not. So he still sounded like he seemed hopeful and at the same time he didn't sound like a control freak um i mean the fact that he you know there was no as far as as we know no police involved and he says that they're still gonna you know he's leaving that room open that they may never get back together um at least in terms of what he is saying so you know you have to respect him um for that I think it's really nice the way that he's handling it. And I remember when people, I don't know, Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf, um, well, it's Beouf in uh, Francais. En Francais? Francais. Francais. It's in French, it's LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Or maybe it's me. Hmm. You're not supposed to pronounce the last um, letter in French most of the time unless there's like an E anyway I'm getting too far deep in it um, it might be Le Beau. but um, when he was talking about I guess when they were in the Transformers movies he was saying that he could never understand how it was that the director uh, you know when they're casting people they look for people who have chemistry people basically who like each other and find each other attractive um and of course the the director himself encourages that so that it will come out on screen and he couldn't understand how it was supposed to just completely be acting and he kind of just let it slip that when they were filming transformers movies and she was married to Brian Austin Green they were together so I think that yeah he handled that well I was kind of looking out to see whether or not um, Brian Austin Green and Megan Fox would get divorced after Shia LaBeouf came out with that Um, and props to Shia LaBeouf he was on uh, on uh, hot ones and he seems like a nice person really he seems like a really nice person even though he had all of those different run-ins um with authorities etc and he had that whole thing with the paper bag on his head where he's like not famous anymore you can't tell people you're not famous anymore with that that that's kind of like it ends up being like attention seeking but um brian austin green really seems to be taking it um well and i wish him and megan fox well honestly um she's been pretty honest herself you know when she (laughs) talked about transformers in the past which i guess the reason why might be a reason why they didn't bring her back for um uh, another transformers after she had an interview and she's like i think she was saying along the lines like you know this is not rocket science 
you know, there's movies there. They're like, you know, com well, not comedies. She's like basically not saying that this is not like high drama or Shakespeare or anything. This is just a movie, you know, and not that highbrow a movie. And it's unfortunate that she said that because um, honestly, I didn't mind seeing her in Transformers movies, even though they're crazy in their own right. I really wonder who keeps the kids, you know, in a situation like that. If Megan Fox is keeping the kids or not. Um, seeing as she was away acting and he was at home, I, I wonder if he was taking care of the kids during that period of time. But uh, I wish them well. Um, he seems like a nice guy. She seems like an honest person. Um, and I'm glad that she's still getting work. So anyway, guys, you can wish me luck. So you can like, unlike, you can comment, subscribe, and or share. And of course, you can do nothing. Peace.